Hey, how's it going? Good morning. It's about 10 minutes till 11 on a Saturday morning. That's looking across Sukhumvit and the new M Sphere Mall. It's open for business and uh, going to be very busy on this weekend. I'm going to head off to the left here. And this is Soy 33. I've done other videos walking all the way down 33. We're going to go maybe halfway down. See what's going on this Saturday morning. I spend a lot of time on this uh, Soy 33, which I'm 99% sure we've switched from a soak into the prom pong area. Yeah, in fact, I know we have because the BTS prom pong is not far, maybe 200 meters up the way. And there's no shortage of street food anywhere in Bangkok, but on the corner of Sukhumvit and 33, no exception. Plus, on the left here is a string of motorbikes, 20 baht, they'll race you down 33 if you don't want to make the walk. And here's the Lotus Hotel you can check on Agoda for current rates. It, it looks to be an older hotel, but very clean. They have a nice restroom in the lobby. I've, uh, I've been in their lobby many times. In fact, I'll go give you a peek. There's a, a, a Lotus Pond. Yeah, it's a nice little touch. And if you need a, a nice clean restroom, right to the left there, you'll find a, a men's and a women's restroom. And this is check-in. And they also have a Greek restaurant right in the lobby. Across from the hotel, you'll find Pan Pan Italian. I think maybe I've had a pizza there years ago, but I can't remember. I just had Italian last night with my friend Dow on Sukhumvit Soy 53. It was called Baco or Baco Wine Bar. Soy 53, that was delicious. And looking up the way to the first little side soy are a bunch of uh, Japanese karaoke and snack bars. There's a little bar down on the left called Propaganda that's pretty fun. And here's the healthy massage. 350 baht for an hour of Thai massage. Yeah, but throw a little tip on there. These uh, ladies are, they're working hard. An hour of massage for only 350 baht. And here's North Gastronomy of Lana. So many restaurants to uh, try in Bangkok. I'm gonna go backwards for a minute. I forgot to point out that yellow building is the Tibet Gate. Tibetan Meditation and Cultural Center, live music, cuisine, and drinks. Years ago, like 10 years ago, it was some form of uh, little jazz and blues place. I, I think that's where it was. And this is all brand new, this Macaw Health and Spa and a place called Bottomless, which I'm assuming that's a bottomless cup of coffee. Here's a stylish hair salon, JK Stylish. And a small group of businesses, the Noom Complex. It's mostly, uh, mostly massage. Yeah, I think you just go up that set of stairs. It's like a three-story building. Here's New Mystique Massage next to Thai Massage, next to the Paco Club 19, and the S45 Clinic. A lot of these places offer massage, Botox, all kinds of different uh, spa-like services. Another little side soy off of 33. The blessed residence and hotel is tucked away back here. I've been back here. I think it uh, stops right at the blessed, but let's go take a peek. Oh, there's a Korean restaurant back here, Seoul Jib, next to Charming Thai Massage. And just across from that is Wang Wang, if I'm pronouncing that correct. Original Taiwan Mala. Yeah, and here's the Bless Hotel, but I think it's uh, set up more long term. Not positive. And this place is called Delish Daily, but it appears to be more of a, a coffee bar. And that's it for this little side soy. So let's jump back on 33. And years ago with those imitation tusks are there, that was some form of restaurant. It's uh, land for rent and uh, all closed up right now. It'd be nice to get that building back in operation. Here's a tattoo studio, Bangkok Inc. Right next to uh, my Raku Massage. And I don't recall seeing this place open. Is it Polly's? 
says now serving brunch Tuesday through Sunday, 8 o'clock till 6 p.m. And top time massage next to this is kind of a Japanese snack bar party place, the Cuckoo Bangkok next to the 666 class. Another, I'll call it a karaoke snack bar because I don't know the difference. Right where this cab is, we're, we're gonna make another right on this little tiny soy. I think there's some hanky-panky uh, party action. No, that's on the next soy. Yeah, no, it's down here. Yeah, this Daisy Dream where that motorbike is on the right, that's kind of a famous uh, famous massage place here on Soy 33, right across from the Click Hostel on the left. It's a nice breezy morning. It's uh, keeping things cool. And across the way is the Matchbox. Bangkok Hostel, which is, a, I'm assuming, a capsule hotel. Dream Heaven Massage, another kind of notorious massage shop over here on Soy 33. And right there where it says the CNC Residence is another little side soy. We'll go down and take a peek. Yeah, another little spot on the right here. I'm not sure what it's called, but maybe it's Happy Hour. And a boutique hotel, the Nimit. Right there, and that is the CNC residence, which from memory, I want to say it's on Soy 33 slash five. And I'm gonna walk through the parking garage just to point out that little 33 five. It's a nice little quiet street. Hair salon, do dream hair. I just happen to know if you uh, cut through this little walkway, there's normally a guard here, but they don't really care. They don't really care about much in uh, Bangkok as long as you're respectful. Yeah, you want to cut through the parking garage here? Just go ahead. It's not that big a deal. And we're going to pop out beyond that van on the little 33 slash 5. I'm not exactly sure what the dynamic is of this uh, CNC residence. This guy's hard at work. Uh, keeping the grounds clean. I've seen CNC's all over Bangkok. I think they're more long-term service departments, but I'm not positive on that. Yeah, it says exactly that, executive service departments. And I, I brought you over here. This is a good example of, uh, well, this is actually one of my favorite streets and one of my favorite parts of Bangkok, Prom Pong. Just because it's super quiet, I happen to know when you go to the end of the street here and take a ride, it dead ends. So there's no through traffic. There's plenty of little six-story buildings. I did a little bit of homework six months ago, and they all were pretty expensive, like this CNC Heritage. I'm not sure I looked that building up. I'll show you another one that I did look up, but they were all huge, like 200 square meter apartments. I know that's not huge by Western standards, but that's a very large apartment in Bangkok, and it, it came at a price that I didn't want to pay. I think it was a uh, meh, 1,500. Again, not a huge price, but I have a beautiful 52 or 54 square meter for less than $600 a month that uh, suits my needs. Yeah, the CNC Heritage, nothing wrong with this at all. These six-story units, some of them are just beautiful. I mean, right there's the seat, you're gonna have a guard. I'm positive there's a swimming pool in here, probably a small gym. And there's a peak down uh, this super, super quiet street right in the heart of uh, chaotic Bangkok. And here's another building next door. It doesn't really have a name. I think it's only six big apartments, maybe 10. And I'm kind of pointing into the sun. I apologize. And the Narendra residence. They look a little smaller, but it's sure a nice, nice area. And right next to the CNC is this building. I forget the name with a T, I believe. I'll, I'll get it here in a second. I walked by this building a couple of years ago and said, yeah, I will live in a studio in that building on this little quiet street within walking distance of uh, everywhere I go. But when I looked it up, it was all, not all, but there were like three two bedroom units available at, at a higher price. So I don't even know. I checked on the building stats and I think they're mostly all large two bedroom units. So that isn't anything I need. I don't need that much space. Yeah, it's the Thindavan on uh, Sugovitsoy 33 slash five. 
A nice building, and those trees help keep your unit cool. And if you go to the end of the street where this motorbike's going to take a left, you'll pop back out on uh, Sukhavit 33. There's a couple of uh, couple of larger buildings on the end there, but I'm going to pop back through the CNC so we don't miss anything on the main 33. And here's Charlotte Donuts Gourmet Bakery. And next door is a Connie Massage, another kind of notorious massage place. And to the left is the S33 Sukhumvit Hotel with S's Cafe, I believe. And Dozo Massage is offering free beer. And the S33 does say it's a compact hotel, so this is uh, where you're going to find the capsule hotels in Bangkok. By that, I mean just those very tiny little rooms, Japanese style. If you get a room at all, oftentimes it's uh, you're basically just climbing into a, a bed and there's a toilet and shower down the hall. Here's a little Japanese place next door. And here's a little clinic, Narada Clinic, next to Demonia, which is a nightclub next to a dispensary. And here's the Beverly 33, which says monthly rate from 30,000 Thai baht. I think it's a service department, eight, 10 story unit kind of building. A couple of large high rises on 33. This is the Noble B33. Beautiful property. There's another Noble right next door. And just across from the Noble is the Honey Bunny, the Cat's Meow, the Hoja. And another little hotel, I'm assuming, the Aspira 6, Sukhumvit 33. And this is the little right turn to that Sukhumvit Soy 33-5 that I cut through the CNC. So I'll walk up there and show you. There's an interesting uh, sports bar on the corner. Now this is the Nanda Hotel, I assume. Just three stories with a sleep, eat, and ride theme and a little coffee shop, Passion Cafe, down below. And there's also a Thai traditional massage tucked away on the left. And they're hard at work in this Bangkok sun doing the gardening, but this is the 33 tower. Yeah, and this is the place I wanted to show you. Tenderloin, sports bar and steakhouse, Bistro 33. Right off of uh, the main Soy 33 on 33 slash five. I keep telling myself I need to check this place out. I have a buddy, Risa, he wants to put together a, I don't know, you know, like a dinner club. There, there's a group of us, 10, 15, that would uh, all get together at a new sports bar or restaurant just to hang out and check the place out. We should probably put uh, this place on the list. It has a huge outdoor patio. And as the uh, game start in the early evening, this place will be packed. Again, it's not even noon. And this is looking down that little street where uh, you'll find the CNC residence. So I'm gonna go back just a short ways and take a right, get back on the main 33. Well, hey, I wanted to mention I did kind of organize the channel a little bit. I made a Sukhumvit playlist. I made a eat, drink, Bangkok playlist. And um, another just checking out Bangkok, which is going to include Tombury and MB Hi, MBK and different parts of uh, Bangkok other than Sukhumvit. So go to those playlists, plug in Soy 33, and two or three videos might pop up. And this is the other large building, the Noble Around on 33. 30 story buildings. And to get our boundary down at the end where you see that big semi truck, that's Sukhumvit right on the other side. That is, ooh, where are we? I believe that's the M Sphere or close to it. Yeah, I think that is the, the new M Sphere mall. So your BTS is gonna be to the left a very short walk from either of these noble buildings to BTS Prom Pong, less than a 10 minute walk. When I've walked by this building a million times, I, for some reason I just assumed it was businesses, but the Taiwan place, is that how I say that? Has about eight stories above some uh, 
spas on the right I think this is a large Aurora spa and on the left is a fancy looking Thai restaurant and here's the 10% it says it's a membership karaoke spot and tucked away back here the Subaki Executive Japanese Club I'm not sure what that is but let's go have a look yeah it's all locked up right now but I'll bet anything it's just a restaurant and karaoke party place nice little coffee spot the warm welcome bakery and cafe and a tops daily tops is a, a large grocery store this is a little bit larger than a 7-eleven but it has a few fresh fish and meat and those kind of things it's on this little side soy. I've been down this street a hundred times. I don't think I've ever walked down here. So let's go take a peek. That's funny. Every time I, every time I walk down a street, I think I know I find something I have missed. Yeah, maybe there'll be nothing down there, but or maybe I'll get back there and find two little cool apartment buildings hidden away in the trees that may be my home one day. And here's an eyelash extension place next to, I'm assuming that's a sushi bar. And there are some apartments above the tops. We'll get the name when we get back on 33. Yeah, it's just all private homes behind gates. Or these uh, three and four story walk-ups. Thai style townhomes. And that's a nice small bike. I don't know about the white seat, but uh, yeah, I like it. And this Honda Jazz, I think, is equivalent to a Honda Fit in the United States or maybe other parts of the world. This, I will say, probably one in five people I know that have a car here in Bangkok, they have this Honda Jazz. It can be parked anywhere. I think it's made in Thailand, so it's a little bit more affordable. And there goes the ice cream man and the shoe man. Hi. I'm still not sure the name of the building. It just says 88 AP, but right above the tops. This is Eastern Thai cuisine. I apologize for pointing straight into the sun. I'm rarely out here at 12 noon. I, I prefer to run around at four or five in the afternoon when the sun's behind the buildings, but it is what it is today. This is the 33 residence, apartments for rent. Ready to move in from 25 to 35,000 baht. So if signing a 12 month lease is not an option, maybe pay a little bit more and uh, rent by the month. And this looks like a pretty fancy spa, the Rakuten, the art of touch. Although it still says Thai massage is two hours for 600 baht. So that's an affordable rate. And we're getting to the end of the main Soy 33. You can see the two noble buildings. That's halfway to Sukhumvit. And this is where it gets a little confusing because there's no street signs back here and I'm, I'm not looking at Google Maps, I'm filming. I think this is still considered Soy 33, but I'm not positive. I know this, uh, this kind of connects to everything back here. So I'm gonna go off in the left direction across the way is a dry cleaner and this is aroma coffee experience over here is a just like a six-story office building I think I see a dentist in there yeah that building I see a clinic for uh, Botox IV drip you can get these IV drips if you get terrible hangovers that kind of thing I wouldn't recommend it but uh, they're offered all over town. There's a hair studio. Let me get out of traffic here. So where that young lady is walking across the street, that's the quote unquote main Soy 33. We've came to this little street, which I think is also 33. And now we're gonna go up this little street, which again, might still be part of 33 or 31. It, it kind of spider webs. This is an interesting little uh, shopping center. There's some dispensaries. There's a coffee place called Brain Wake. And I believe there's a bagel shop. Yep, BKK Bagels. And there's also a bakery tucked away back here, Conkey's. 
hot fresh bagels. And I've never wandered back here. Let's see what, what they have. Here's a little gelato and bakery on the right. And just a little restaurant tucked away back here, Pepina. And some beautiful cars in the parking lot. And just across the street is a 24-hour full-service Vet 4 Animal Hospital. And again, that's the main 33. The little shopping center is on the left here with the Brainwake Coffee Place. And I'm going to walk down this little soy. I think it dead ends just in a couple hundred meters, but there's a couple little interesting buildings down the way. And here's a place called Horio Cafe, which looks like a Japanese specialty coffee and slow bar. The Yoon residence with the Clover Hair Salon down below. They look like big, huge, older units. If there's one unit on either side of those balconies, they look fairly large. And I think that's a private home. That's beautiful. Now this says the Turnberry is on Sukhumvit 33. So I guess we're still on 33 back here. No street signs to tell you that. And this is another cool looking building, the Triple Oaks. Yeah, I like these, uh, I like these dead end streets. Doing a little cement work. And at the end of the street is the La Bonita Wellness and Slimming Center. And there it is, tucked away back there for all my friends that are interested in the spas around Bangkok. Uh, Angela, I know she's a, a big spa person. And it looks like they're doing some beautiful work restoring this nice house. How you doing, guys? A uh, couple of people have asked me. I try not to uh, stick a camera in too many people's faces. I, I just did with those gentlemen. And I'll say 99.9% .9 of the time I get a, a thumbs up or a smile or, a, you know, that kind of thing. One time I accidentally, I didn't mean to do this at all. I was uh, sitting in a pub and kind of pointing the camera, you know, like towards this truck and way down the way, like where that person is sweeping, somebody's down there kind of like flipping me the bird. It's, you know, like I'm, hey, I'm filming you 200 feet away. I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't mean to ever stick a camera in anybody's face, but if a person walks out like that, oftentimes they just give me a thumbs up. You, you know what I mean? It's not a real problem. Yeah, this is a cool looking house. And they're done with all that uh, beautiful woodwork. That's going to be something to see. Hey, so thank you so much for following along this walk down Sukhumvit Soy 33 on this Saturday afternoon. I appreciate it. You have a great afternoon.